So we went from this UX design of a sticky wall that we had provided to our application to replicate. And from here, it went from the first iteration to replicating a simple menu and a sticky wall to the next generation, which started to portion out the sticky wall better, as well as adding a couple of different emojis for these categories to this fully functional application with animations, the ability to add new notes, as well as adding a calendar with functional buttons. This was all capable by providing a simple screenshot of this UX design to Klein to help you replicate it. On this channel, we've showcased many great tools for building applications from Klein, formerly known as ClaudeDev, an autonomous coding agent within your IDE that's capable of creating and editing files to Ader, an AI pair programmer that works in your terminal to help edit code in your local Git repository or start a new project. We've also covered tools like Replit, Continue, and others, which allow you to fully code out your application. But what if there was an easier way for you to build your app? Imagine simply dragging and dropping a UX design or a screenshot of a web page you would want to replicate. Well, in today's video, I'll demonstrate this as I'll showcase how you can turn a simple screenshot into a working application. This will even work for mobile apps, depending on your specification and your prompts. So with that thought, let's dive into the process and explore how easy app creation can be. For this process, we're going to be using Visual Studio Code as our code editor. So simply install this for your operating system and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. We will also be using Klein, also known as ClaudeDev, and this is basically an AI assistant that integrates seamlessly within VS Code. Now, if you are an active viewer of my channel, you have noticed that I've made multiple videos on this amazing extension because it's capable of directly being streamed into your editor and it provides faster feedback, smoother coding sessions, and it's capable of fully coding out your backend and your frontend. Out of all the tools that I mentioned at the start of the video, this is definitely my favorite because in my opinion, it's the ultimate editor where it has the ability to process images and screenshots. You can utilize free models from open source models all the way to closed source models such as Anthropic or even OpenAI as your provider. And you can even use the app function similar to how you would with Cursor's Composer feature where you can have it so that you can add a particular type of file to add context within the text area. You can paste in the URLs, automatically add workspace errors, you can insert file content without using extra API requests, and you can even have it so that it can re reference your full on code base. So once you have installed VS Code, you can then head over to this link in the description below, which will help you install the client extension. You can simply click on the install button, which will prompt you to open up Visual Studio Code. And you can simply click on the install button to install this extension. Once you have installed it, you can then head over to Klein on the left hand panel within VS Code. And what you can do first is go over to the settings tab, go over to the API provider and change it to whatever is best suited for your preference. You can use closed source models or you can use open source models through Olama as well as via open router where they are going to allow you to access free models and this is the capability that you get with Klein. but in my opinion for this particular use case where we're going to be taking screenshots to replicate a web app or any sort of particular app i, I think it's best if you use anthropic or open ai and you can simply paste in your open ai key in this case i'm going to be using the cloud 3.5 sauna model once you have pasted in just simply click done and then we can proceed forward so I was scrolling on Google to find a simple UX design for a to-do app that I want to replicate. And I was capable of finding this pretty nice app. And this is something that I'm going to be replicating as a screenshot within Klein. I'm going to have it so that I'm going to feed in this screenshot and it's going to replicate it. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image. So now that we have everything ready, Go back into VS Code and go back into the client extension. And within this left hand panel, I want you to click on this uh, camera button. Once you click on this, you're going to be able to upload your screenshot or the image that you have saved. And now what you can do is you can simply type replicate the UI for me. Now, this is just a simple prompt that I'm pasting in, but you can obviously make it more advanced 
and you can prompt it in a way that it could analyze the image in a better way or you can have it so that you can specifically request it to copy a certain part and add a certain part to that section adding animations and such forth so in this case i'm going to replicate the ui first and then we're going to send this in to Klein, and you can see that the api request was sent and it's going to start off by creating a plan you can see that it's going to create the sidebar menu with various sections and options a main content area and it's going to start creating the new files and within a couple of seconds it was able to finish developing the first iteration of this app so now client wants to execute this command to start this application so let's run this command and have it opened up so within a couple of seconds we should have it opened up and there we go so initially this is what we see so far it has the left end panel and the sticky wall now obviously it's not something that is fully complete yet with all the buttons properly sectioned out and having these different sticky notes properly sectioned out as well so let's go ahead further and iterate this to make it even better so i can go back into vs code and i can ask it can you please fix the sectioning of the sticky wall as well as making the menu sidebar a bit more uh let's say modern so let's send this in and we're gonna have it now uh improve the quality of the menu as well as sectioning the sticky wall a bit better so let's go ahead and have this generated so let's see the changes that have been made so let's run this command and let's see what it was capable of doing and there you go you can see that it added a search tab it added all the different categories such as the tags a settings a sign up button it has the lists as well as the tasks such as upcoming today calendar and the sticky wall and now you can even add different sticky notes now obviously this is a front end that won't have any buttons functional so we can go back into VS Code and have it so that it could configure the buttons so that it is actually functional. What we're going to do instead is configure the sticky wall even further so that you can actually add different sticky notes. So let's go back into uh, VS Code. So the prompt that I've set is can you now make it so that there's a simple animation to the sticky notes and so that the sticky wall is actually functional meaning that you can add sticky notes for different categories such as personal, work, etc. Assign a different color for each category. So let's go ahead and copy this and we're going to actually have Klein inspect the website first. So let's do this first and have it go forward and trying to see what it can do to improve this. So it's going to make this API request to inspect this. Once it has done this, we can then send in this prompt to configure it. So it looks like we have finished creating the base of our new app and it definitely looks really, really good. This is the sticky wall that it was capable of creating and this is where it had a couple of animations. You can actually retract a sticky and you can even add more notes. So in this case, you can name something such as going for a run. So you can name it as a personal content. Uh, I want to run five kilometers and then you can add the note. And there you go. This is like a simple to do list that you can add. I've also went along and added a calendar. So this is a new page and you can basically see that it has all the dates listed for October 2024. But if you go back to the sticky wall, this is something that it was capable of replicating based off the simple UX that we had provided. Now that's practically it for today's video. That's how I was capable of turning a simple screenshot or an image into a fully functional application. You can even go forward and configure this even further by adding a backend with Klein. You can add authentication with Clerk and such forth. This is the great flexibility that you get with applications like Klein as well as many of the apps that I've showcased throughout my channel. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all the links as to what I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon if you want to access more content like this within our private discord make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas